Welcome back once again to our Inventor Series. Um, right now we're going to talk about building a bill of materials or a parts list. Now for our drawing here, what you see is the parts list has already been made. If you look on the screen, you'll notice that the parts are all individually labeled, starting here at the top and counting around counterclockwise. One, two, three, four, five. Now, the problem is this was done using the auto system, so some of the numbers and parts don't really line up where I like them. Um, sometimes I do have to go in and move them, but you know that's not really a big deal. As you can see, I simply select on the either the balloon or the end of the balloon, and I can move it as I want. Now, as I move my balloons, they do change shape, though. If I put it right on the line, it turns it into an arrowhead automatically. If I put it right on the part itself, it turns it into a dot for the terminator. I prefer to use the dots. I prefer to put the piece right flat on a surface so there is no mistaking what it's pointing at. Um, but sometimes that's just not really a good option, like here with this wheel edge, right? And so um, we're going to leave that one alone. And for the bushing hiding right in there is part number three. Now, we're going to show you how we created this, but we're going to do it on the ex exploded view of this same drawing. So if I go over here to simply to my sheets, I'm going to select this exploded view of my drawing. Now, this exploded view, really simple. It's got all the parts in it, all can be seen. I've got both supports, both bushings, the wheel, the axle, and the base plate. So simply to make a bill of materials, first off I have to create the balloon system. Now I can do this manually or automatic. I'm going to go automatic and I've already selected the view because I had it highlighted when I selected what I wanted. Now I want to add or remove components. Now I'm going to move this off to the side a little bit. So I can start right here at this component and work my way across the piece. As I get to each component, I highlight it so it turns pink. Once I've got them, I can then select the placement. Now, I can either do this in a straight horizontal line, I can do it in a straight vertical line, or as I prefer to do it, I space them generally around my part so that they are spaced out so there's no confusion trying to crisscross lines, etc. So, you can go in and also adjust your balloon shape. Um, I tend to use the default, which is the circle. Um, some people prefer to use this method which has the sheet number and things on it. Um, for right now we're just going to go with the default. So I'm just going to place these around roughly and go click and it labels them. Now I'm going to hit the apply button and we're going to leave them alone for a second. I'm going to close this window. Now we've got the plate is part one so I'm going to move that dead center on the plate like I showed you before. I'm, uh, I'm going to look at my support here and I'm going to move it so it's in a little more logical place. And I'm going to put that dead center on it so there's no confusion there. Now we've got crossing parts like I was worried about. Well, I'm going to move four over here and three up here. Now I'm also going to move four's arrow to be dead on the axle itself. Okay. Now because it's a rounded surface, it really doesn't want to let me put that as a dot on the surface. So I'm just going to put it right there. Five, I'm going to put right smack in the wheel's flange. And there I've got my parts spread out nicely around it. And I'm going to, like I said, move them a little bit so they are easy to find. And I can simply work in a counterclockwise motion. If I had wanted to, I could have forced it to go clockwise, but for right now, that's great. Now, I've got this. Now, to make the parts list really easy, I simply can go to my parts list here. I select the view. Well, I just have to come out here and select the view of the part I want. Okay, it automatically links the file. I can go mm, direction of wrapping, left, right, enable wrap, yeah. Um, but right now, I'm just going to OK, drag it up here to the corner, and I always put it opposite the title block in the same edge of the paper place it. That's it. It's done. I've created my parts list. Thank you.